Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Katrina. Today's video is a little bit different from any of the other videos that I put out. Today I am on my way to Miami to have my surgery done. And I'm super excited, so I'm gonna be taking you guys along on this journey with me. So I hope you guys are ready, especially for the ones who do wanna have surgery. If y'all have not checked out my um, round one surgery, I'll make sure I'll link it down below in the description box or I'll link it up here in the iCards that way y'all can click on that and check that round out. But um, I'll get into more info once I get to the airport and I'll give you guys an update then. Right now I got to get on this road ASAP. So see y'all when we get to the airport. Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love Okay y'all, so we are now at the airport We've already got checked in and stuff We just got done using the bathroom So, we're about to get ready to board here in the next 20 to 30 minutes probably Um what you say, Mama? We go somewhere. We gotta get some snacks. That's all she's thinking about is snacks right now. But yes, y'all, I am taking the whole family with me this time. Because last time, y'all didn't watch my round one videos. I was sick without them, so I had to have them this time. But I'll come back to y'all once we get on the plane. Now, pre-op did call me. Uh, my coordinator, Cynthia, she called me around 12 o'clock today to verify that I was coming and to give me my pre-op appointment. Um, so my pre-op appointment is tomorrow at 8 a.m. My husband's gonna drop me off and then he's gonna take the girls somewhere and then go pick up some stuff that I'm gonna probably need for later for after surgery. So um, hopefully I don't be at pre-op all day tomorrow. Don't know about I got time for that. But as soon as we land in Miami, we have to go get the rental car. The same place I got the rental car, rental car last time is the same place I'm going to this time. And we have an SUV for five days for only $123. I put a deposit down of $35, which goes towards the $125. So now I only owe $88. So hopefully no unexpected fees pop up. But y'all know it did last time. But I called them to make sure that no unexpected fees was going to pop up this time. So he said I was good. And then all I had to pay was $88. But we shall see. But I'll make sure I link the name or, or link the uh, rental car company in the description box. That way you guys can check them out. They're really good and cheap. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, y'all. So we're about to go get seated and get ready to board. Okay, y'all, so we are now on the plane. Joe and JC's are right here. And then me and Ayana is together. She wanted to sit by the window. JC threw a tantrum fit because she wanted to sit by the window, so she's sitting over there by her daddy by the window. But let's, about to get ready to take off, so let's go. To forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. made it to the hotel finally we have gotten the rental car um i sort of kind of ran into a little problem at the rental car which was the same problem that i ran into last time they just do not take american express credit cards when you're trying to um 
pay it and they don't take debit cards either so which is kind of odd as well it's a ter certain type of debit card and credit card that they take so FYI know that that one switch slash next car do not accept American Express cards and they don't accept debit cards either so um, yeah I, I don't know y'all I just don't know but I only had to pay a hundred and twenty three dollars and I got a really really brand new car SUV it's a Toyota RAV4 and I love it y'all it's really really nice all white so nice it's a 2022 so I was excited about that and they upgraded me only because I was a returning customer so yay me but um, I just got done giving the girls a bath my husband he's going to get a few things from the store like water juice some milk for JC so we can have that and yeah so it's right now it is hold up y'all it's 11 30 at night I done gave them bath. They about to take their little bus to bed because I have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning for pre-op. So I'm about to go ahead and jump in the shower. Excuse JC, y'all. She's just so annoying right now. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and jump in the shower. And I'll come back to you guys in the morning once we get to pre-op. So this may be going into pre-op. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I may be carrying this video on into pre-op since I only gave y'all a little bit of showing y'all the clips from the airport and i think that's about it right <laughs> so i'm gonna give y'all some more don't worry about that just continue to watch good morning y'all it is the next day we are on our way to miami life plastic surgery i have a 15 minute drive ahead of me traffic is not too bad my appointment is at eight and it's almost 8, but they don't open up until 9 anyway, so I don't even know why they even gave me an appointment for 8. But if they do let me in, then that's cool also. Um, Joe is going to be dropping me off while you take the girls somewhere. That way they don't just be sitting there all day. But I'll come back to y'all once we pull up to Miami Life. My hair look a hot mess. But yeah, I'm the first one here, y'all, so I'm super excited about that. Hey, we're in some important information and now she left me in here to finish filling out the rest so that's what I'm trying to get done now so I'll come back to y'all once all of this is signed okay okay y'all I just got done seeing Dr. Nassif got all my stuff 
and now we are where we going now to payment okay we want a payment now i gotta make a payment y'all so come back to y'all in a second okay y'all so pre-appointment is over right now right now i'm just making my payment um my last payment on my account and then i'll be heading out i was only here for two hours i was actually the first one here which was awesome so dr nasif was amazing y'all he was such a sweetheart he did tell me that i did not have enough fat but he was gonna you know snatch a girl up i only need it well then that this would be my second round he he already knew that so he said that i didn't need another round that i was gonna look fire when he get done with me so i'm super excited about that and i'm super excited that he told me that i was gonna look fire <laughs> He is so sweet. His bedside manners are A1. Y'all ain't got nothing to worry about with him at all. And the staff, they are wonderful as well. So, everything is good, y'all. It's good. So, my uh, husband and kids, they're over here by Walmart. So, right by Miami Life Plastic Surgery, there's a TJ Maxx, Publix, Walmart, Walgreens. It's all right here in this little shopping area, which is awesome. So, we're just going to go get something to eat when I get done from here. And then I'm going to go to Walmart and get the rest of, rest of my stuff. So, I'll come back to y'all in a minute. Hey, y'all. So, I just went and dropped my prescriptions off at Walgreens. We have gone to Walmart. Um, I should have showed y'all a few clips while I was in Walmart, but I didn't. I'm sorry. But I'll show y'all um, later on tonight all the stuff that I bought from Walmart. So I'll give y'all a little grocery haul, especially for my um, surgery dolls who are wondering what to buy for surgery, especially if this is your round two. And you definitely don't want to go all out because, honey, I remember during my first round, I went all out. And me and my friend Jasmine had thrown away so much stuff, it was unreal. So this time, I didn't do that. Last time I spent like $235 and I walked out today spending only $85. So, And that's for me, the kids, and my husband. All of their stuff combined. So, um, I did pretty good with that. Um, What else? What else? What else? I did tell y'all about pre-out. Pre-out was smooth sailing. No issues. Um, when I got there... I waited for about an hour before they called me back, uh, which is still fine. But um, I waited for about an hour. Again, I was the first one there. Um, then one of the coordinators came up. They called me to the back. And I went into this little room. This, and she went over a couple of paperwork with me. And then I just started filling out the rest of the paperwork that she went over with me. And then after that, I went and seen Dr. Nassif. At Nassif? Nassif? I think that's the same name, right? If I'm not, y'all, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, but I went and seen him. He was awesome. Y'all, he was so down to earth. And what else? After that, I made my payment, and your girl was out. That was it. It was so easy. And today, it was, you know, it wasn't hectic. It wasn't a lot of people. Now, it did start getting busy around 12 o'clock today that's when it started getting busy so when they call y'all and ask you what pre-op time you want you better tell them between either eight or nine o'clock i chose eight and thank god i did because like i said i was the first one there and i was in and out i was literally only in there for like two hours two to three hours top y'all tops um i know a lot of other dogs said they was in there for like five to six hours that's if you come late because then you have all these other dolls trying to get in trying to get seen you have the pre-op dolls you have the post-op dolls you have um the dolls that are coming in for surgery so you gotta get in early early in the morning i'm telling you get there in the a.m okay and right now we're at the hotel and my husband, he's taking in the, oh, I look a hot mess. My hair, I need to wash my hair, y'all. I didn't put my little ponytail piece in. I just said I'm going to go natural today. <laughs> but, um, 
I hate my hair, I really do. Anyways, my husband, he is putting the groceries in the hotel room. And yeah, that's about it. Then we're about to go grab something to eat. I wanted to go to a Caribbean restaurant so, so, so bad. We still may go to, he got one up on the GPS. I don't know if we're gonna go to that one or not, but um, our top places that we wanna go to is a Caribbean restaurant or TGI Friday. That's where the girls wanna go. But as you can see, their little butts are knocked out. And yeah, do y'all wanna get a, I'm gonna give y'all a quick little tour of the car, how the car looks overall. Maybe y'all can see what we got and how I only paid $88 for this, okay? So stay tuned. So here's a quick uh, shot in the inside. It has peanut butter uh, cloth seats, which is really nice. All right, let's. So yeah, we got a Toyota. If y'all hear a lot of noise, that's because there's planes. Where I mean, we at the nearest airport. Well, we're at the airport. We're not at the airport, y'all. I don't know what the hell I'm saying right now. I'm trying to say that the hotel we're at is by the airport, if that makes sense. But yeah, this is a quick shot of the um, SUV that we got. It's really, really nice. It's a Toyota RAV4. This is the front. That's my husband he's talking about a frog that he's seen. We stand at the La Quinta, y'all, because these hotels were so expensive, like in the thousands, and I wasn't gonna pay that. So, so we stand at the La Quinta. La Quinta. It's I call it La Quinta. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for a frog, y'all. Ain't got time for that. But this is how this 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 is how the car looks, though. And the name of the place again that we went that I went to is One Switch Slash Next Car. So. I'll give, uh, like I said, I'll have all that stuff linked down in the description box just in case if y'all want to go over and book you a rental if you're staying in a hotel or Airbnb like I am and you need transportation and you don't want to spend $40 here and there for Uber and stuff, definitely go the uh, rental route. All right, I'll come back to y'all in a minute. And I have to tell y'all about the uh, my airplane tickets too, how much we paid for that because we got cheap, cheap airplane tickets for a whole family of four. So I'll come back to y'all and tell y'all about that in a minute. Okay, y'all, so we're getting something to eat right now. Say hey, Joe. Huh? Say hey. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Say hey, Yana. What's wrong, Yana? Okay. You cold and hungry? JC, what's wrong? Uh, I'm cold and hungry. Okay, y'all got to ignore my baby sideburns. She went to the park. I did have them laid down. And they just curled back up on my head, so. And Yana's. Hers looking the exact same way. So, they looking a little rough. <laughs> I had them dressed like today, though. It was so cute. Get up off the floor. That floor is nasty. Get up. But yeah, trying to order some food. And I'm thinking about, of course, the polo chicken. May get the first one right here with some black, the mixed rice and beans. Yeah, gotta figure out what the kids gonna eat right quick. I'll come back to y'all. Do you like it? Yeah. 
Okay, y'all, so we're back at the hotel, so I'm going to just show y'all what I picked up from Walmart right quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a shower and get the girls ready for bed tonight. And then I'll come back to y'all. So let me show y'all what we got right quick. Okay, so I picked up me some chicken and rice. I got two cans of these. Got, of course, the pineapple juice. Excuse the mess, y'all. I had thought I had everything cleaned up before I left from here, but guess not. But got the girls some juices. This is for them. And then this is some apple juice Jason had. Then I got two things of Gatorade. I got some black trash bags so I can get rid. I'm sorry. I got some black trash bags so I can get rid of um all of the stuff that's you know gonna be dirty and stuff. Black trash bags, y'all definitely get that. That's for baby. Then I got some disinfectant wipes to clean the toilet and stuff in the sink, just in case I'm leaking anywhere. And then I got some um, sandwich bread, sandwich bread right here. In this bag, we got some chips, some Lay's Doritos, just so the kids can have like some um, sandwiches and stuff. And then in the refrigerator here, Got some fruit cups, peaches. I got me some strawberries. I got me some pineapple chunks. And then this right here is a vegetable tray with um, carrots, celery, broccoli, ranch, and tomatoes. And then I have, um, they got some milk and water and some pizzas. And then up here, just some cereal for them to eat, just in case they get hungry in the middle of the night or something, they can have a quick snack. But that is it. Um, I did get me some pillows. I got a good, good pillow this time because the last pillow that I got, I will not go cheap again for my comfort. I'm trying to be cheap and not think about my comfort. This time I had to think about me being comfortable because when you're constantly laying on your stomach, you want to have something that is not super, super soft, like really, really firm. So I got me a memory foam pillow, that's what I bought myself. And yeah, so I only bought one of those and that's going to go like directly up under me just to prop me up so I won't be sinking in, you know, sink down in the bed. And then I did get some towels. I brought my own towels, all black. I've got I got three washcloths black, and then I got um, one big towel that's black. So yeah, and then I got two gallons of water. I didn't get bottled of water. I just got two gallons of water because again, we're not gonna be here that long. I'm leaving right after uh, the next day after post op. So, but surgery is tomorrow. I'm just gonna get this room cleaned up get these girls fed and in the tub and then I can get my stuff situated and then I'll come back to y'all once we're all settled okay y'all so I am currently getting ready to go to bed it is 12 28 and I am so exhausted so I'm gonna go ahead in this video here and then tomorrow we'll start surgery day vlog so, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope you got some information that you needed if not just comment below and let me know whatever questions you have I don't mind answering you guys just drop it below or hit me up on my Instagram at Katrina does it all so until next time I'll catch y'all in next Monday's video